Hi guys, in this video I'm going to discuss on theorems on kite. Okay, first theorem. In a kite, the perpendicular bisector of at least one diagonal is the other diagonal. So we have here kite save with diagonals SV near and AE. So what you mean by perpendicular bisector is that these two diagonals here uh, form four right angles so this angle here is right angle this is also right angle here angle two here is also right angle and this angle here is also right angle or 90 degrees and this is a bisector it means that in here if this is the angle here it means that this is divided into two congruent parts and in the bottom here this is also divided into two congruent parts so that's that is what you meant by perpendicular bisector so again these two here are congruent so it's, this means that uh, measure or angle S A E is congruent to angle V A E and another one angle S E A is congruent to angle V E A so these two here are congruent and these two here are also congruent okay number one if measure of angle 1 is 63 this is 63 here what is the measure of angle 3 now angle 1 is 63 here angle 2 here is 90 so we're going to find this one by using the interior angles or some of the interior angles of a triangle which is equal to 180 so measure of angle 1 here plus measure of angle 2 plus this angle will sum up to 180 so 63 plus 90 here that will be 153 so the total is 180 so we're going to have 180 minus 153 and that will be 27 degrees so this is 27 here and since the two are congruent meaning measure of angle 3 is also 27 degrees now number 2 if measure of angle 3 is 31 here what is the measure of angle SAV what is the measure of angle SAV so this angle here so if this is 31 it means that this is also 31 so 31 plus 31 will be 62 so measure of angle SAV is equal to 62 degrees number three if measure of angle 5 is 20 this is 20 here what is the measure of angle 4 so if this is 20 here this also means that this is 20 so if this is 20 degrees this is 90 means that the sum of these two here the sum of these two here is 110 and the total sum of this triangle here is 180 so 180 minus 110 that is 70 degrees so measure of angle 4 is equal to 70 degrees number 4 if measure of angle 4 is 70 degrees what is the measure of angle ESV so if this is 70 here and this is 90 here means that this is also 20 the same with number 3 so this is 20 this is also 20 so it means that this is also equivalent to 70 degrees so measure of angle e sv is equal to 70 degrees okay second one the area of the kite is half the product of the length of its diagonals so we have here kite prey with diagonals PA and RY. So this means that its area is half the product of these two diagonals here. So we're going to have the area of the kite equals one half of the product of the two PA and RY or PA times RY divided by two. You can have this one as PA times ry divided by 2 so number 1 
if PA is equal to 7, this is 7 here, and RY equals 13, what is its area? So we're going to have the formula PA times RY divided by 2. This is equal to 7 times 13 divided by 2. 7 times 13, that will be 91 divided by 2. So 91 divided by 2, that will be 45.5 cm squared. So the area of this kite here is 45.5 cm squared. Number 2, if the area is 96 cm squared and PA is equal to 8 cm, what is RY? So what we're going to do here is we're going to use the formula area is equal to PA times RY divided by 2. So the area is given here, so this is 96 here, equals PA is 8, 8 times RY over 2. Then this is divisible by 2 here, so 8 divided by 2 is 4, so this will become 4, and this will become 1. So we're going to have 4 RY times RY equals 96. Then dividing both sides by 4, we're going to have RY equals 96 divided by 4 will be 24. So this means that RY is equal to 24 centimeters. I hope this video helped you. If you have questions about the topic, please comment down below and see you next time.